the iPad is my favorite Apple product, but the apps on this device, uh, to say the least, can be very limiting. And given that the most decent apps will ask you for a monthly subscription, the free ones are usually not the best ones out there. Call a note, it's not in that category. We've talked about Call a note a few times on this channel, and I want to show you all some hacks and tricks that I use with this app, and I'm sure it will help you get the most out of your note-taking process as well. For instance, some people believe that you cannot change page orientation on Call a note. I don't know where the f they got that idea from, but here it is, a call a note with horizontal pages. If you want to learn how to do this and much more, let's get started. So, horizontal pages. There's no direct setting to change the page orientation. You can do this if you import a PDF in your desired orientation. Here's a blank keynote document with 10 slides. And if I export it as a PDF, I don't even need to save this file. I can just directly share it to call a note. The note created from this PDF will have pages in the aspect ratio as your PDF document did. I know this is not perfect, but if you're an engineer or you work with large data in general, you can use this trick to create large data tables and even redlines your engineering drawings in Colon Note directly. Let's talk about AI-based widgets. One of the most amazing features of Colon Note is to be able to add interactive web pages right within your notes. And with the recent rise of AI tools that are available for free for everybody to use, you can bring those features directly in Colon Note. For instance, I have this AI tool to summarize complex topics for me to refer back to. Or if I'm using a YouTube video to take notes or using that as a tutorial, I can summarize any YouTube video for me to get started without having to deal with the blank page or get scared by the blank page and start first procrastinating, you know what I mean. Here's a pro tip for anybody who's paying attention. You can save these web pages, these AI tools, to your bookmarks and they will be available for you to select them from the menu directly. Let's talk about navigation and multi-window. If you use Cola Note, you might already know that you can open two simultaneous windows by dragging the icon on an existing instance from your dock. But did you know that you can also access any of your notes and open them in split screen directly from the sidebar inside the Cola Note application? Similar to the sidebar on the left, the other side you have a panel to manage your pages. Here you can change the background for any single page. If you change a background for a page here, changing the background for the entire note from the Cola Note settings will not affect the changes you make here. Next, let's talk about one of the most useful features that I'm going to talk about in this entire video. And if you're finding value in this video, you might want to hit the like button. So Cola Note actually saves all your notes on your iCloud or on your local storage. And because of that, you can open your notes directly from the Files app, which inherently means you can create a home screen widget for the Files app, link that widget to the Cola Note directory, and when you tap on an icon from the widget, it will open directly in Cola Note. So what I've been able to do is create different widgets pointing to different directories based on focus modes so I can quickly jump into the notes without having to tinker around with the UI on the Cola Note app. Not saying the Cola Note app has a bad UI, but it's just faster to jump directly into a note from the home screen. So Cola Note has a ton of customization and there are a bunch of settings that you might want to change just to optimize your experience a little bit. Here are a few ones that I would recommend that you should change. On the main page of the application, you can change how the notes are sorted and I would highly recommend that you sort them based on the date edited in a descending order. This will allow you to quickly pick up your last edited note without having to look through an alphabetical list. Quick notes, you can create quick notes directly from the main page, which would open a blank page for you to start scribbling and taking your notes. But you can also customize that experience a little bit by changing the default template and the default name for your quick notes. I don't think you should change the default name, it's just the date of the note you're taking in, but I like to select this dotted grid as my template as it helps me draw flowcharts and straight lines with proper directions. Bonus tip for all the mind mappers out there, when you draw a shape and you hold it for Cola Note to recognize the shape, and then you can drag your Apple Pencil to resize or rotate that shape. Next, let's talk about gestures. Cola Note allows you to undo by double tapping with two fingers, and you can redo by double tapping with three fingers. It is a great gesture, but it feels kind of slow if you're trying to go back a few steps all at once. I highly recommend that you change that gesture to tap only once with two fingers to undo, and tap once with three fingers to redo. And now I have a quick one for all the M1 or M series Mac users out there. The Cola Note app can be downloaded on your macOS devices as well. You can access your notes directly on your macOS device, although you cannot take handwritten notes. 
obviously, you can at least convert your handwritten notes to text or even select them as images for you to reference them into a professional application on your macOS device. But more often than not, at least in my case, I use the mind maps that I create on Colanote as reference while I'm typing the scripts for these videos. And I also have a shortcut for you guys. It won't be one of my videos if I cannot share a shortcut for an application that I love too much. This shortcut that I use all the time, it opens my reference material and Colanote side by side automatically. This is not a very complicated shortcut, so let's just go through it real quickly. I use the filter files action to sort through the notes based on last modified date and open the first item from that list using the open file action. And then I have an action to open Colonote and Notion in split screen. If you like that shortcut, I'm 100% sure that you're gonna appreciate this shortcut as well. I built a shortcut which basically identifies songs that are being used in Instagram Reels or TikToks and play them on Spotify so you can actually listen to the entire song. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. This is Geek.